Lily, Lulu, Lily, Lulu, Lulu. So I wanted to show this really cool swing that's actually really old. This thing is about 40 years old. Um, I used to swing on this when I was a little kid, and now my son's swinging on it 30 years later. And it's just made out of pine. The handle and the foot pegs are pine 2x2s. Two and the front board here is a 2x6, 20 inches long. And the back, the seat part, is a 2x12 that's 24 inches long. It has three ropes. The rope in the back is actually just one piece that's looped through the bottom. And then there's two ropes in the front that tie under the handles. Uh, it's held together with just those steel 90 degree brackets and it's anchored to the joists and you can either use eyelets or I just used a series of wire so it's not really putting a big hole in the joists. Uh, one thing is it might squeak, you want to oil the hinges and oil the brackets and the way that the seat is held together with the front is two uh, barn door hinges, the, the triangle ones. And every kid who's ever been on this one, even back to, you know, 80s when I was on this thing. Every kid has pinched their leg on this. And I warned my son 10 times and he still pinched his leg. It's kind of a family tradition to pinch your leg on this old swing. Uh, and that is one issue. We're going to try to put some padding around it, but it's just kind of a, the way the swing is made that if you go really high, that front part pushes back and if your leg's there, it gets pinched in the hinge. But it's a really cool swing to have inside, indoors, like in Michigan when it's 10 degrees out, you can have a swing in the basement. And you can swing really high. It's really instinctive too. Even kids that aren't good on, can't pump their legs on a big swing. This, they have the handles and the foot pegs that can swing really high. It's relatively safe, although we have a pad under here. Considering this is concrete, you don't want to fall out. But it's got handles and foot pegs. They're pretty safe on there. And it's a well-made swing. It's made out of, you know, Thick boards are not going to fall off, but let me show you how it's actually made up close, and I can give you the more dimensions in case you ever wanted to make one of these. So here are the two hinges I was telling you about, and they're a little bit bent, but they've been holding up for 40 years. And here are all the steel brackets that hold it all together. And again, two by two, two by six, two by two. And this is a 2x12 with another board underneath. And we tied a knot under there so it, it's somewhat parallel. Um, a knot under here, and these go all the way up to the hooks. And again, you could use you could use an eyelet like this and put it into the joist and click into that. Or what I did is I drilled a series of Maybe you can see better on this. I just drilled a series of holes and I used some wire and I looped it through. And I think, you know, that wire can hold several hundred pounds, but quadrupled up, it's going to hold a thousand pounds. And that's a way that it's not really putting a lot of a big hole in the joist. And again, these just click in and tie a knot and it goes down. And, and you might have to adjust these knots to get it nice and parallel. But you can see even that it, it kind of pinches itself. That's where everyone, ever, all the kids kind of pinch themselves. So we're going to take a, another board. So we're actually might, thinking about modifying it. I took this little uh, board here and I'm going to try gluing that in there to keep uh, their kids' legs away from that front. Because this is kind of the, the area where they can get pinched. So I tried putting tape over it, but that didn't really work. So I might try gluing something in there. But uh, the swing itself is really simple and really fun. So if you want to build it, I'll try to put some dimensions down and share a link where you can build it. And again, you just put your hands on there and we used to hold on to the handle, but he doesn't like to do that. He likes to hold on to the rope. And you can see how fast and high it goes. And there is another variation of the swing where you have the seat in the back and the front part is not uh, perpendicular to it. It's actually parallel and it fits in front. And a lot of these are like a horse or a giraffe type on the front. And they have two handlebars out to the side. And there's a dowel that goes through that and it pivots on that. And Ree, Ree says this is a horse and it reminds him of a horse. And we, I think we used to call it the horse swing because it kind of looked like a horse. 
but it's a really great easy project to make it doesn't cost a lot you probably have some of these scrap boards laying around all you need is two hinges some ropes some hooks uh, you could probably glue the handle and the board together but it's not something you want coming undone you might want to go with glue and metal brackets that would be my recommendation you want a couple factors of safety you don't want this thing suddenly falling off when two kids jump on it so uh, again I'll, I'll put the plans a link down in the description and uh, if you want to make it I think it's a really great idea thanks Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.